we're going to rotate this triangle 180 degrees around the center of rotation P using just a compass and a straight edge. So the first thing to remember about a rotation is that we always rotate a single point by a uh, single point so we don't think of the whole figure at once. So we're only going to focus on rotating figure or point A first. And the whole idea of the rotation is that every point travels in a circle around our center of rotation. And so our first step is always going to be to draw a circle using our compass centered at our center of rotation with a radius out to the point that we want to rotate. So in this case, from my center out to point A. And because I'm doing a 180 degree rotation, I need to draw at least half of the circle. And I need to draw just a little bit more to make sure I'm safe. As always, when you're doing straight edge and compass instructions, try to draw your circles as light as possible, just light enough so you can see, see what the circle is. And if we're doing a 180 degree rotation, uh, all we have to do now is draw the diameter across the circle because a straight line has a, a measure as an angle of about 180 degrees. Uh, and when we do a rotation, the angle of rotation is always from our pre-image point to our center of rotation to the final image point. So that's the angle we want to create to be 180 degrees. So we just line up our pre-image point, our center of rotation, and lightly draw a line. And where that diameter crosses the other side, you can imagine this point orbiting around the center of rotation 180 degrees until it exactly hits that point. And so that's what gives us our point A prime. So our first rotated point. So remember that this here is what we call a straight angle, which has a measure of exactly 180 degrees when you have a straight line. And there's our angle of rotation centered at our center of rotation. All right, so there's one point done. So we just repeat that exact same process for the other two points. We draw a circle centered at our center of rotation with radius out to the pre-image point. And then we draw the diameter of that circle from our pre-image point through the center of rotation and making sure to intersect the circle on the other side. So let's go ahead and do point B. So I'm going to set my compass with my metal point at the center of rotation and the radius out to point B this time. And go ahead and draw a circle again, just a little more than a little more than half. I'm going to semicircle there. And we'll take our straight edge and line it up through our center of rotation. on the diameter and then make sure the thing about rotations is we're start to kind of start to see a lot of circles and a lot of lines here so just make sure you're keeping track of which circle those points are traveling around so here's here's B's circle it's going to walk around here and where it hits that diameter it's going to be B prime all right and then finally our last point point C which is the one that's furthest away so it'll have the largest circle semicircle, a little more than a semicircle, and then our diameter from point C through the center rotation. Alright, and finally walk around C circle to where we just drew our diameter, and it gives us C prime. Alright, and then we just make sure we reconnect the points in the same order. Lucky for us, a triangle only has one way to connect points. Oops, bad place on my label. And there we go. That's how you rotate uh, a figure 180 degrees around a center of rotation using just a compass and a straight edge.